what is it like to actually be out here on the streets? I actually was up underneath the, the I-5 viaduct earlier. It was pretty dark. Look at there. There's a wrap. Yep. Anyways, I was up underneath the I-5 viaduct earlier. Yeah. Up underneath there. There were many, many who were camping out. But it was so dark. The video, you just really couldn't realize who was up there. You notice I didn't talk back there. There was a couple of guys sleeping, trying to sleep, trying to get their sleep. It's hard some days out here. Up underneath that viaduct, I was actually approached by somebody. Notice back in the shadow, there was a guy actually sitting there in his chair. He sits there night after night. Here's a camp that these guys are apparently gone. Just haven't come back for the night. Kind of looking around. The one sleeping underneath there. But they're always trying to find a a safe spot to sleep. Meanwhile, back at talking about the guy here earlier, he was going to try to help me out. And that was by trying to take my camera. <laughs> and then he realized I was healthy and wasn't drunk like him. Yeah, there's actually somebody in that box. This is underneath the viaduct here in downtown, say, Seattle. And uh, I think that's about all we're really going to find down in this area tonight. The guy figured out that I was healthy and uh, stopped. And then tried to be buddy buddy with me. <laughs> tries to rob you, and then he tries to be your buddy. And that's how it kind of works out here on the streets. So I got one other spot to go. But I know somebody's probably out. This is right down at Pioneer Square, just a couple blocks from where I, I live at in the Union Gospel Mission. Uh, four or five blocks away from where the Seattle Mariners play, where the Seahawks play. Actually, uh, Pioneer Square Hotel is a pretty good hotel. This is just an old part of the town. And uh, they're always trying to find a spot to go. I'll just kind of leave you with that. That's reality. Good night. <laughs>